At the end of our conversation in The Hague, we left off at the family panel with one very clear message. Families are not optional, they are critical in the recovery journey. Today I had the pleasure of hosting and moderating a panel with all of our families. And one of the things we focused on today was the study that was conducted last year in The Hague. These games are just as impactful on the families as they are on the competitors. One of the amazing things that came out of the study is the golden formula. The idea that goal, sense of belonging, and purpose, when you are able to bring these three things together, which actually happen right here at the Invictus Games, we see this recovery, this healing that continues. The impact, not only on the competitor, but on the family. For me, what's so amazing is that early on in the journey, um, families were an afterthought. It was, that's fine, bring the families, they can be here. Um, but, but truly today, they are right at the center of these games, along with their competitor. Family is about connection. It's about supporting one another and accepting the imperfections and differences that exist. In Fisher House, what well, we've always known to be true, right? The family is the best medicine. But when you see that permeate to other countries, 23 nations competing here. Um, it, it's amazing to know that something we started very small at the Warrior Games, a belief in those families, and a, a big reason why we started the family program, has now gone viral internationally um, and is impacting so many. And so today we have an amazing panel who is gonna help us to look at and better understand not only the transgenerational impact of trauma to the family unit, but also the healing impact that these Invictus Games has had on their lives. We had two great families, the Kawada family from the United States and the Hoos family from Germany. Talked about their journeys, how they got here, and what these games mean to them and how it has changed their lives. I was stationed in New Mexico and I had a ruptured brain aneurysm. I went into a deep, dark place and like here, yeah, I didn't want to do anything. Uh, I pretty much thought life was over. I got was lazy, got fat, out of shape. And uh, my wife forced me to go to my first adaptive sports uh, introduction which ultimately led me to making the Invictus team last year. These games have, you, you can hear it from competitors and families. It saved their marriage. Um, for many families who felt they were broken, couldn't communicate, couldn't talk to one another, the power of sport, they now cycle together, they play games together, they're able to come together, and in doing so, they are healing. There's a three-year gap there where um, I didn't know what our future hold, you know, held. And um, in 2019, like you said, I, I, I forced him to go to a, a, an adaptive sports event. And um, from that point forward, it pretty much changed, changed his life and it changed our life because then once I saw him getting excited and doing stuff again that he really enjoyed, then of course it got me happy and excited and it really saved our, not only his life, but our marriage as well. And um, I'm happy to say that because next month we will reach 30 years of marriage. And our purpose at Fisher House is to ensure that those families are by the side of their loved one. So one of our challenges is how will you impact these games? Look into the future, go and find someone who you know will benefit and bring them, bring them across the line to be part of the games as well.